The Constitution is a living document. It is not static. As citizens, we need to make it real, not just for some of us, but for all of us. The phrase, with liberty and justice for all, mean all. We're one people, we're one family, we're the American family. The discovery of an individual's liberty is one of the foundational values of being an American citizen. America has been struggling to define the rights and justices associated with that liberty since the creation of its constitution. From this struggle evolved the monumental Bill of Rights and 17 more amendments to define and protect our liberties. Over time, the amendment process has been tested by a nation whose national sense of liberty, equality, and the inclusion of all citizens evolved with turbulence and struggle. When we were planning the March on Washington in August of 1963, I would hear Dr. King say things like, we must learn to live together as brothers and sisters. If not, we will perish as fools. Freedom, true freedom, is not given by governments. Freedom is taken by the people. The people of America are becoming aware that this freedom to their fellow human beings, and I call them human rights, are theirs to give. The issues that compel America to continue to define equality and fairness, I think it's innate. I really believe that it's in our soul, that we believe in freedom, freedom of the individual. We believe that humans have a right to peacefully coexist with fellow human beings. So there are two monumental statues on the Pennsylvania Avenue side of the National Archives building, one inscribed, study the past, the other, what is past is prologue. And the message is, we should be able to learn from our history so that we're not repeating the same mistakes over and over. And the role of the National Archives is to ensure that people have access to the records that demonstrate how those rights were achieved so that we can learn from those records. With over 11,000 proposed amendments to the Constitution, and only 27 of those actually ratified, our pursuit of rights and justice continues to be a vibrant part of our democracy. It's up to every generation of Americans to own our democracy and continue this national dialogue of defining our personal liberties. It is very, very important for all of us as citizens, for all of us as one people, to take ownership of our system of justice. This is our democracy. It belongs to all of us. We must talk about it. We must debate it. We have to continue to fight every single day. If we do not, we will go backward. We don't want to go backward. We want to go forward and complete our effort to create a more perfect union.